Hello everyone. So today let us uh, do a migration of uh, team managed project to a company managed project and I was actually doing this recently for uh, one of my client and I've done this many times before uh, and uh, I thought of course you know why not uh, share it with you as well and when it, whenever it comes to team managed projects Although I've, I've said this many times before, I think the idea is great. When team managed projects came out as next gen projects many years ago, I made a video that video is actually very, very popular. The idea is of course that you have your own project uh, with its own uh, customizations, workflows that teams can manage. Now, there are some problems, there are some limitations, although team managed projects uh, have uh, their own advantages, but uh, uh, to have some standard, to have like a common way of working, you should have uh, some workflows that everyone agreed to, uh, to 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 use, or basically some some customizations. Now, it happens a lot where people or teams they start using team managed projects and then they realize that no, we want to move to a company standard. Only use team team managed projects where. Uh, you know for sure that your team will never ever in future be working with anyone else. Maybe you have your own way of working and you're happy with that uh, and uh, there is no interaction whatsoever. But because when, whenever you are dealing with some other teams, you will eventually be in a situation where you will have to either uh, uh, adopt their way of working because they can't really adopt your way of working because you're using team managed projects or maybe you can't really uh, report consistently because your customizations in your project project or projects are totally different okay so let, let us do a migration and it is not that difficult but uh, you should be aware of few things for example if you are uh, uh, working on a team managed project you may have uh, of course your data that you want to preserve and that is actually a problem so if you do a quick google search like migrate uh, from migrate between, I mean, there is a link by the way, just search online. So basically migrate between team managed projects and company managed projects. So you can actually do this both ways. The The way you would do it is basically doing a bulk uh, move. Now, the thing is that you will lose a uh, few things and you need to be aware of it. For example, if you are moving from, let, if you go to this page and if you search for things to keep in mind if you migrate from team managed project to company managed project. So it says that you will, uh, you know, I mean, you can migrate a lot, but not really each and everything. For example, if you have board statuses, so let us say you have your own team managed uh, board, then you will have to basically create a, or recreate the same board. Custom fields, then uh, this is a, again a problem. If you are using custom fields, then uh, your uh, global custom fields um, should be, uh, you know, added. Uh, I mean, you, you need to figure out a way. I mean, maybe do a CSV uh, uh, import later on. But if you're using a lot of custom fields, then again, it's a problem. Uh, issue types, it will, good thing is that you, your migration will uh, will will uh, pass you, I mean, or basically when you do a move. Uh, and also the permissions will be different, obviously. And uh, the issue keys, will of course be uh, different. I don't really think uh, if you do like a one to, uh, like if you migrate from uh, like a team managed project to a blank project, I'm sure definitely the issue key will be, uh, I mean, the, 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 not the issue key itself, but the project key will be different, but uh, the numbering might change. I'm, I, I never really bother to check, but I think it will. Uh, because when you migrate from a team managed project to a company managed project, the way I managed to do it for like a complex structure, let us say you have epics and with epics with stories, first migrate everything where you don't really have any epic link. Then migrate everything that you that may have epic links or that will have epic links. So that uh, because when you're doing this 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 migration, if you're migrating uh, epics or if you're migrating issues under those epics, make sure it is like in one big bundle. So basically write your JQL accordingly. And I think uh, reports, of course, will be different. Story points will be different. I mean, not different, but reports will be lost. Story points will not be migrated, I believe. This is what it says. But uh, let us do one thing. Let us uh, just create a new project. And what I will do is I'll create a Scrum project. 
I've done this a uh, few times, but uh, uh, if you want to preserve everything, just do CSV import. And uh, of course, it won't really have each and everything for you, unfortunately, but at least, I mean, like migrating comments and issue history is obviously, uh, it is always a challenge, but at least you will have your data that you want to really keep with you, like that you have in the custom fields. But when you do a bulk move, it, it also works. So if you go to your uh, project type, uh, like while creating a project, I'll create a team managed project demo for migration. So this is a team managed project and I know it's team managed because it says here team managed and it will basically give you this, uh, this, this template. Of course, you can select. Now the thing is that I want to basically just create a couple of epics and then, you know, stories. So I, I'll go to the timeline view because I want to show you a few things. So let us say you have an epic one, epic two, epic three, and uh, note down these, uh, you know, issue keys one, two, three. And if you, if you create a new story, story one, story two, story three, right? Let me also do the same thing for uh, story two or basically story four, story five. And let us also create some, you know, like timelines, basically, you know, just update. Basically, if, if you do this, you will have uh, some dates populated for you, right? And of course, if you click on this, you can see on the right hand side, I'll try to collapse. So basically for Epic 1, I think the start date and due date is, you know, it is coming from the timeline. Now, what if I, okay, let, let us also assign it to myself, like the Epic 1 is assigned to me. Under this Epic, we have these three stories. And of course, we have the description. And what I will do is I'll change the status so that uh, I'm going to show you uh, how the history looks like. And there is a comment. And uh, let me also just uh, for the sake of it, what if we also link it, link this to something else. So let us say this issue is uh, linked to like SSPB 14. So there, there are like a couple of issue links that I want to just, uh, you know, show you. And uh, what else? Shall we also update the story points? So if I go to story, I will uh, enter here two and uh, where is it? Oh, so I, so I think it's, pro no, not the sprint, come on. Story points, two, and one more thing. Uh, what if we also have sprints? Let us see. So there is a sprint one, right? So just trying to show you something very simple and also label like uh, admin, admin, and uh, label one. On the, on the left hand side, let us say there is a board. So what I'm trying to show you is that if you have a project with like a similar setup and we are trying to see how like what all it can do because I, i'm doing this I, I recently did this and i told my client that yeah there will be some loss and they were okay with it as per that particular document but uh, maybe there are some improvements maybe there are a few things that are different now so okay so you can see here that for this uh, uh for, like there are some things like uh, story points that are uh, reflected on the backlog and what i want to also do is i want to create a sprint right so we have two sprints and I'll add the sprint uh, or I'll add a couple of stories to the sprints. We have these epics. I think this is decent information. And uh, what I will do is I'll create a new project. And what I want to also show you is if you go back to the timeline view. So we have epic one, which is TMPD FM one. Epic two is, uh, you know, issue key two. Epic three is also issue key three and then story one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically I I'll take a screenshot just to be on a, just, just so, so, so that we don't really remember, like forget the, the situation, like the issue keys and uh, I will then compare it. Okay. So this is my screenshot number one. I have it somewhere on the, on the screen. Okay. What else? So let us create a new project of type company managed. And this would be of course Scrum because that is what we want to do. Create a project and a Scrum and use a template company managed target company managed. Right. And the issue key star. <laughs> All right. So let us create a new project and uh, continue. So we have a new project. It is empty. I don't really want to do anything here. I just quickly want to go to the issue navigator 
and uh, I want to do a bulk move. That is how the migration is done. And what I will do is I will do project is equal to TMPD FM. I believe yeah, this is the one. Search, and we have everything in this uh, in this project. We have all the epics. We have all the stories. Now, if you do a bulk change, you can then of course you now specify that you want to move everything from this project to the new project, which is uh, I forgot the name. Target something, right? So move and uh, you can see here that this will ask you to provide the mapping. So stories map to story and uh, I want to also do the same thing for the other one. You will basically get these two options because th based on the status, I think uh, I think that is how it is. Otherwise, it, it, I mean, you, you must be wondering why we have the mapping twice. And uh, we also have the epic or maybe not not because of the uh, status. I'm not sure. So let us if, if you click on this, what does it say? Okay, just the issue types. All right, so target and epic is mapped to the epic. Of course, your target project should have these issue types. I mean, these issue types that you have here in the target project, obviously. Now, if you click on the um, on the next, then you will be asked to do the mapping of the statuses. And uh, of course, you know, make sure the statuses are there. Uh, and uh, let us go to the next. And story points. This is so your destination story issues may have different field settings. Ten years source project, blah blah blah. Component version will be lost. It says, um, okay. So things to keep in mind. I mean, I think we are probably looking at the same thing because it says story points and it says here. Okay, are we doing this? Okay, from company manage? No, not from company manage. I want to do it from the team manage to company manage. So it says this data will be lost. So it's very clear. This is because a custom field that Jira uses to store estimates in the company managed project is different. So it's a different custom field. It says story points and it is in the team managed project, it is story point estimate. So, but here it says uh, uh, retain. What exactly is this retain is all about? I mean, sometimes things are not always clear, but anyways, so click on this and uh, let us do this uh, one more time for the epic and uh, next. So let us move. Okay, so we have this retain, retain, epic name, epic status, and uh, next. So let us wait for the migration to complete. I'll click on the confirm button, and uh, depending on depending upon of course, of course your size of your issues, it will be different, and. The reason I mentioned <coughs> mentioned earlier that you, if you have like a lot of issues, then make sure you migrate all the epics and stories under it in one go, if you can. I mean, write your JQL in, in such a way that so that uh, if you're migrating some stories, then uh, the associated epics or vice versa should be there in that JQL. Otherwise, uh, your parent-child relationship between epic and stories based on parent field, not the epic link field, will be uh, you know preserved uh, and. I'm actually looking at a different camera because I'm using a you know new one. So yeah, I hope the quality is better. So let us go to the project, which is target company managed project. And what I will do is I will of course straight away go to the timeline view. And this timeline view is of course, you know, it's a bit similar to the one that we have here. So this is the okay. So I want to basically look at the 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 the, the, the um the issue keys. So for the epic one, it says tar eight. For epic two, it says tar six. So definitely not preserved here because I think it was probably based on the list. And if you click on the epic epic link itself, uh, you know you know the first epic the history is there, and uh, the status is in progress, which is correct. The association is here. The linked issues, the association of you know stories or issues under the epic. We have it here. The linked issues are preserved and uh, assignees there, which is uh, in this case, I believe it was assigned to me. And do we have story points? No. And uh, do we have sprint? No. Do we have the issue history here? Okay, we, there, there is a comment, good. We have the history here as well. And you can see here that, you know, whenever you moved it, the, uh, 
uh, the history will tell you. And also, if you look at the backlog, uh, the sprints, I mean, we have the sprints here. I mean, I'm not really sure how it works because the the, the documentation says that the sprint information will be lost. But here it says the sprint. Are these sprints in the same project or in a different project? So the, the problem is sprints are actually, all the sprints are associated with the, the I mean, not a problem, but maybe it's a good thing uh, because it says here sprint and it says uh, uh, tar board. So there is a board that is created with sprints. And if you go to the reports or or maybe, you know, okay, let us go to the reports and I want to basically look at the sprint report and uh, I'm sure it will be empty because, oh, so it, now it says there are no available sprints for this board. It's a bit weird, right? And if you go to the burn down chart, no available sprints, but the backlog is uh, showing uh, the the, the sprints here because uh, these sprints were uh, in the other project, right? And uh, I can, okay, let, let us start the sprint. What will happen if we start the sprint? Okay, so the, the, the tar one issue does not have the value for the estimate field, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we are ignoring it. So we can start a sprint, but, but the report, uh, I think the report will probably, may, maybe it will show the sprints now. Okay, now it is showing definitely one sprint. So maybe the sprint information is transferred, but when, when I did the migration, like recently, like after a while, uh, I was not expecting it. So this is probably a good thing, but if you look here, it says like if you, okay, so if you go to the, let me just do a search here. And okay, so it doesn't really say here for this particular part, whether the sprints will be, uh, migrated or not for doing the other way around like from migrating from company managed to team manage we have this information but not really okay so because they have not mentioned it maybe sprints are migrated probably a good thing okay so also you know good for me to learn because i'm doing this after you know some time and uh, and yeah that is it that is how you can do a migration i also you know refreshed my memory and learned few more things that uh, I was not aware of and uh, because I I think I recently which I did like, like the migration which I did recently like the same thing I think I did this after a while but I I, I remember doing these migrations or basically this bulk move uh, I think uh, maybe it has been like maybe one and a half year roughly a bit more than that and uh, now I'm happy that you know things I mean not everything but you know quite a lot of these things can be migrated so I hope if you have to migrate, or do I like do a similar migration from team managed project to company managed project? Hopefully this video will help you. And, uh, and I hope you found this video useful. And I also hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.